Today we are going to learn about Mirth Connect status. Most of the people uh, who are coming to this video might be confused about what is pause, stop. Both look like the same. So I'll clear all the problems and I'll, I'll provide the solutions to you. Not only I'll be explaining what is pause and stop, I'll be explaining about what is a deploying, starting, started, pause, stopping and stopped. Uh, there is a complete pattern on how the Mirth Connect works from start to stop. So what we'll do, we'll start with uh, the deploying thing. I'll go uh, to one of my Mirth Connect uh, channel. Uh, there's a dashboard. Uh, you can remember the name Support Testing and Support Testing 2. These are the two uh, channels which I'll be going to use in this session for an example. So this is Support Testing and Support Testing 2. For example, if you do any changes uh, over here in the Mirth Connect destination or any other place and you will try to deploy it. Okay. So this is a very basic thing. I'll, I'll just do something like D and I'll do save the changes. When I deploy this particular thing, automatically this will go into deploying status. Okay. But as it is too fast, you might not see it. I'll click. Are you sure you want to deploy it? Yes. So automatically uh, this has been started and it has been deployed. So initially, when the Mirth Connect, when we deploy anything, any channel, it will come into deploying status and it will be deployed. After that, it will be in starting position. And even for the starting position, you can uh, set in the channel itself. Once deploy, whether to start it or stop. Okay. There will be an option over here, which you can uh, set. Yeah. Initial state has started. If you keep initial stage as stop it, uh, the initial state will be stopped. Okay, you can see the initial stage stop it. So whatever it is, whether you keep it as stopped or started, the first instance of mirth would be in deploying status. And you might ask why? When will this deploying situation will occur? And I'll provide the answer to you. So when you start deploying huge channels where you have like big big builds not small and simple build like this there are a lot lot of scripts which to be run to deploy this particular channel so automatically this will go into deploying status it might take a minute or two minutes or three minutes uh, and even for example when you are deploying like 100 channels at a time uh, you can see a few channels which are in the deploying status so that's where uh, you will get uh, this particular deploying status you don't need to worry you can simply wait for a while and all the things will be cleared and the channel will be moving to starting position or started position as you declare in the channel now we are going to learn about why it will be in starting position uh, why it will be in started position so th there will be two differences so starting and started and we'll learn about that so we'll go back to our Mirth Connect uh, to look about the starting position. So for example, uh, there are like around 34, 39,000 messages over here which are processing and I'll generally uh, start them. Perfect. So when you deploy a channel or undeploy a channel, there will be a few messages which should be processed in this particular uh, source or destination transformers and you stopped it forcefully or you paused it like you stopped it forcefully or you are doing some changes over here and when you come back and deploy this and while it is going from deploying state to started state there will be few messages unfinished messages previously which should be processed completely from source to destination so if this messages are still in the processing it will show in the starting position means you it they should clear all the messages from source to destination or any other uh, transformation which are occurring then the channel will be freshly started so here uh, we are having all the messages which have been received and processed so it will not be an issue when this have been processing and i forcefully have done some changes in my channel uh, I'll, I'll just do something like q and i'll deploy it while i'm deploying it first it will be uh, yeah, see here I actually uh, change the position to stop. So what I'll do, I'll remove this uh, from stop to started. Okay, then I'll deploy it. Okay, before coming to see, you can see starting and it started. 
you got the point right so the first it would be in the deploying state the second it would be in the starting state the third it would be in the starter state okay the only thing about the starting state is like it's just clearing up all the stack messages or which should be processed or i'll do another change over here so always it will uh, loop through these three stages you might not see it deploying all the time because it would be not a big channel to get deployed and we will try once again i'll do something else over here and i'll deploy it and i'll come back to dashboard yeah it is in starting state now started that's how uh, the starting and started state works so you might see uh, it will not be going into started state for few channels it will be in starting state means the processing has not been started successfully the previous uh, messages which have been uh, in different positions of the source and destination they are clearing up so you don't need to worry if it is still in the starting position depending upon your channel size depending upon your level of uh, scripts uh, which are running in the channel which you recently deployed those position will be changing from deploying starting and to started now we are good with this three particular things this uh, will make it uh, more interesting when it is pause and stopped you rarely see stopping i'll even explain why when it will be showing st stopping but we'll discuss what is the difference between pause and stop that would be a much uh, interesting topic we'll go back to mart over here and the architecture of this channel is like uh, this is a channel this is a source and this is a destination so in real time uh, you will be getting like uh, hundreds of messages every single second or like a minute depending upon the channel size so here actually i am not passing any messages Th those are uh, the messages which i passed uh, long back so what we'll do we'll try to stop it when i click stop it instantly stopped okay whatever the messages uh, which are from going from source to destination everything everything got stopped okay everything is in the middle so so you can see once i start and we'll stop it again when i stop just the channel heading that's it everything got stopped means everything is in stop position okay even if you are like multiple destinations everything will get stopped means the complete uh, message processing from source to destination or source to multiple destinations will be stopped instantly you will not have any messages which are processing inside source or destination or any other place okay let's create a small example over here what i'll do i'll add another destination okay clone destination okay and clone destination yeah okay and i'll save this and i'll deploy this okay now uh we'll uh, we'll undeploy this for yeah now we'll look into this particular thing i'll stop it once again that's it all the destinations have been stopped okay so it is not processing messages to anywhere now we'll see something interesting we'll start this okay and we'll pause it that's it you can see something like when you pause it only the source uh, the channel main head of the channel which it is receiving the messages is been stopped the other destinations are working perfectly the processing which is running inside everything is working perfectly and it is in the started position only so that is the main difference when you uh, use like multiple destinations and everything uh, we generally use uh, pause and when we uh, in the normal uh, uh, like support purpose uh, we generally use stop but if you ask me in deep why we use pause and why we use stop so i always suggest to use pause if you are not doing any changes and i always suggest you to do stop if you are doing any changes in the channel and redeploying it okay so uh, this makes sense uh, the, the difference between pause and stopped and i want to uh, give another example even uh, if i am pausing this particular uh, main head of the channel like uh, the source is stopped but the destination hasn't stopped what i can do i can click on the destination i can uh, reprocess any single message without uh, doing any issues so like everything is working fine so if i pause i can do all the changes in uh, the destination part or like wherever it is started so it is not in the stop position right for example uh, if i'll try to stop something okay 
on or more destination cannot stop because queue was not enabled. Queuing must be enabled for destination cannot be stopped individually. Okay, uh, we need to do some other changes, but still, uh, the best example would be uh, when you are pausing it, you can uh, use the destinations uh, to run reprocess and uh, do all the support work. Generally, whenever we are trying to reprocess bulk messages, uh, I'll just pause it away and reprocess everything over here. Again, I'll start depending upon different scenarios. We are going to use pause and st stop. So pause is for uh, just uh, stopping the inbound. Uh, you can say like that. Stop is for stopping the complete entire uh, destination. Now what I'll do, I'll start everything. I'll just stop this one. Okay. One or more destination connectors were not stopped because queuing was not enabled. Okay. This is something else. Now we'll refresh. Now uh, we'll go and just revise everything once again. What is deploying while the channel is still being deployed? Uh, when we have like huge channels with huge scripts and everything, multiple destinations, uh, it might take some time to deploy. Before coming to into starting position, it will be showing deploying. Okay, starting. Okay, starting is nothing but. Uh, we'll just change this to yeah. Starting is nothing but. It will clear all the leftover messages in the channel before coming into start positions. Like if previously we have done same change, some changes to the channel and we suddenly deployed it, it will complete the old process first and uh, come to start started positions. Okay, started channel is running. This is nothing but uh, everything is working perfect without any issues. Pause is nothing but only the source is stopped. Destinations will work. I'll just go once again. Uh, if I pause this only the source will stop the destinations will work without any issues stopping is nothing but while the channel is trying to uh, process all the leftover messages it will be in stopping positions but generally we will not be using this this come this comes under the gray area uh, like generally you will not face this issue stop is nothing but the complete channel is stopped if i stop it the complete channel is stopped nothing will be working everything will be done and dusted now i'll tell you something interesting the halt you might not encounter this in mirth even if you have a good experience so halt is nothing but like uh, whenever you have some severe issue in the production and you cannot even do anything like if you click on start stop it will not change like you in you won't even get options or even if you get an option it will not change it is completely stuck in that situation you will uh, can use a halt option uh, it would uh, indicate in a more critical issue. If the channel is in the halt state, there might be an error exceptional condition which is uh, making you to stop doing any uh, changes of the status from start or stop. So in that state, when you use halt, the, the complete uh, server will be stopped and you will uh, not get any messages like from the complete end, you are going to use this halt. So generally you won't use it, but in case if you face any scenario like all this above are not working, you can do halt. So we covered all these topics. Uh, few of the scenarios uh, might not be, I know I might not be able to show you in the live screen like deploying. It will come rarely and I need to create that scenario. It might take two, three hours uh, making this into deploying and different positions. So uh, my main intention in this uh, session was to cover the difference between pause and stopping and stopped. So which I actually covered. So, yep, uh, we'll look into more uh, support related uh, tutorials in the dashboard, MERD dashboard in future and uh, we'll continue this session. Thank you.